So security stakeholder roles. Um, I think that um, I first of all, I love uh, giving this uh, talk to people that are technologists because they they look at it and they're like, really, it's not my responsibility. Like, there's other people that uh, <laughs> that that are more responsible than me. Um, but uh, just to talk about and this is like if you open a security theory book, right? That, or a legal book, or um, any place where people are really being held accountable for cybersecurity challenges, um, the number one most accountable person in an organization is not anyone in IT. It's the board of directors and the chief executive. So um, it's it's operationally due diligence, the, the chief executive, but if there's a board of directors and there usually is some type of um, trustee or board, or, or board in, in charge, um, they also have a due care obligation, and any of them could be held uh, liable for not caring or not doing enough about cybersecurity. And that's like really where the buck stops. You know, you really can't pin it on IT when there's a security failure because the CEO should know better. Um, they they should have read the risk assessment. And if um, if they didn't do a risk assessment, that's their fault. That's not IT's fault, right? Um, and the risk assessment should have told them, you know, X, Y, or Z. And if the risk assessment didn't say that, um, it's still the chief executive's problem that maybe they hired the wrong assessor, right? <laughs> so um, board of directors, chief executive, under that, we, we're still not IT. We're talking about management and asset owners. So um, between the chief executive, you have people that are responsible for areas of a business, department heads, people that are in charge of a process like payroll, um, those people, again, more responsible for cybersecurity than the technologists that are, um, in technical terms, we actually use the word custodians, um, are usually, um, you know, in charge of making sure things are configured securely. Um, and I, I think that this really aligns with, um, with what you see in, in security awareness training and, and, in you know, education world in general, which is security is everyone's job, Right. Uh, what you don't often hear is it's actually more the user's job, more the CEO's job, more the board's job than it is the people in, in, in technology. And down at the bottom, we've got users and security analysts. And at the very, very bottom, we have the technologists whose job it is to help the security analysts and users stay secure, but it's not their job to do security for them, right? So it's the user's responsibility um, to take care of security. It's the technologist's job or the IT guy's job to support the users in being secure. Um, so this security hierarchy is pretty standardized in, in the risk management world. Um, I added a little note here. Um, if you're an IT MSP, um, your responsibilities are down there at the bottom. You're, you're, you're either in some combination of the security analyst or technologist category.